Coming to you from the floor of the CME Group, I'm Eric Wolfman Wilkinson. Let's get in the zone, the cash money zone. It's Friday, June 8th, the day after the Fast Money taping here in Chicago. Great time. Thank you, uh, CNBC Malloy, Twitter following. Uh, John Malloy, producer of Fast Money. Got us, me and coffee down there. We are going to try and do a little bit of behind the scenes taping, but uh, Harpo wasn't going to allow that. So, Coffee and I went there, went to the after party, it was a great time meeting everybody, but some of the topic of discussion there that I found interesting was this gold trade. This gold trade just keeps seeing downward pressure despite the fact that the dollar's been losing strength. I think if there's going to be more quantitative easing talking or anything like this, everybody's worried about their currency right now. Gold really is a currency. Now, I'm talking the physical stuff, not necessarily the paper. I like to own the physical, not the paper necessarily, and then trade around that with your puts if you want. So, own the physical gold. I think it's also going to rise. If more turmoil that's going on, if the Eurozone breaks up, everybody's going to be wanting this gold trade. Why is gold seeing so much downward pressure? Well, my thought is that what's the first thing you sell when you got to get some capital raised right away? Well, these major countries over in Europe have to come up with some money right now. So I think that they're the ones that are actually selling all of their gold assets, causing this downward pressure while the rest of us are trying to scoop it up. It's a real tough trade right now, as Guy Adami said, but you know, Guy thinks it might be going to 1,200, or uh, sorry, 2,000. I think it is at least going to migrate back up into the 1800s, kind of settle down there until things start shaking out as to what's going to be going on in the Eurozone. You know, right down here at the bottom of this, tell me what you want to talk about and also tell me what you think about this gold trade because uh, Kay Fine, Karen, the uh, CNBC Fast Money, she doesn't really follow this gold trade. She doesn't really see what's going on. I want to see the counter side of it. I like to see everybody else's perspective. I don't want to get caught in my tunnel vision thinking. So please comment on these videos. If you can't take that, take it easy.